Hey guys and welcome to a new section of Discrete Math 2. In this section we're going to talk about recurrence relations and there are three types. In this, in this video I'm going to cover type 1 which is first order linear recurrence relations. So the first type is linear and that means that you only have one root. So why do we use recurrence relations? Well let's take an example. If we have a n plus 1 is equal to 2 a n. So that's a recursive function. Alright, so if you want to find like a to the 10th, then we're going to have a to the 10th is equal to 2 times a to the 9th. And a to the 9th is equal to 2 times a to the 8th. So here it is 10, this is 9, 8, then a to the 8th is equal to 2 times a to the 7th and you go all the way down until you get to a to the zero is equal to something and then you keep, you go back up and you keep on adding or solving so you have here you'll have two then here you'll have four then here you'll have something and then all the way till you go back eight till a to the tenth and that will require a lot of work so a much simpler way to do this is to get rid of the a to the nth term. So you'll have, so the main um, reason we're doing recurrence relations is to get rid of this a, a to the n here to avoid recursion. All right, and we'll see how to do that now. So for this um, tutorial, we're dealing with linear functions. So you're going to be given a linear equation. What you're going to do is you're going to find the root of that equation. So that's the first thing you're going to do. So let's call it r. And then you're going to plug it into this formula, a to the n equals to a, a is of an unknown variable, times the root to the power of n. And you're going to solve for a. And that will give you a non-recursive um, solution. And that's how, and that's why we use recurrence relations. So let's take a quick example here. So we want to accomplish all this in one step, which is to avoid recursion. So find a to the n plus 1 equals to 2 times a to the n. Um, and we're given the condition here, a to the 0 equals 1. All right, so the linear equation is a to the n plus 1 equals 2 times a to the n. You can picture this as r to the power of n plus 1 equals to 2 times r to the power of n. And now if you divide by r to the n, you're going to be left with r equals to 2. And that's the root. That's the root of the equation. So here, all we did was divide by r to the power of n. Alright, so now we found our root. So r is equal to 2 is the root. And now what we said is we're going to plug it into this equation here. a to the n equals to a times r to the power of n. Alright, well we have a to the n equals a times r to the power of n. And we know that r is equal to 2. So a to the n equals to a times 2 to the power of n. Okay, well, we know that a to the 0 equals 1. So, we're going to replace n by 0. So, if you have a to the 0, that makes the equation a times 2 to the power of 0. So, we just put um, 0. n is equal to 0. That's all. And a to the 0 is equal to 1. And that's what's given in the question here. So this will make the equation 1 equals a times 2 to the 0. And 2 to the 0 is just 1. So a is equal to 1. And now, now that we know that a is equal to 1, our, this formula here becomes a to the n equals 2. a is 1, r is 2. So 1 times 2 to the power of n. And that's how we define a function without making it recurs recursive. So if we want a to the hundredth, it's just 2 to the power of 100. 
All right, another quick example here. If you have a to the n is equal to a to the n minus 1. Again, here you have r to the n is equal to 7 times r to the n minus 1. You're going to divide by the lowest power. So in this case, it's n minus 1, or r to the power of n minus 1. And you're going to be left with r is equal to 7. And that's our root. And now a to the n is equal to a times the root, which is 7, to the power of n. And we know that a to the a to the second is equal to 98. Alright, so now we have to solve for a. So a to the second equals to a times 7 to the power of 2. And so 98 is equal to a times 49. And that will give you that a is equal to 2. So this formula here becomes a to the n is equal to 2 times 7 to the power of n. And that's how we solve um, recurrence relations. Um, Alright, so this is the last example I'm going to do for this section. And here if you, you invest $100 at 6% interest compounded quarterly. How many months do you have to wait to double your money? Alright, so we know that a to the 0 is equal to 100. That's the first thing we know. And we know that a to the n plus 1 is equal to, well, since it increases quarterly, then, so your rate will be 0 0.006, or sorry, 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 over four months. So to get it every month you're going to divide so if you want one month and here's x you're going to divide by four so 0 0.06 divided by four is equal to 0 0.015 alright so that will give you a to the n plus one is equal to zero or sorry one since we're dealing with percentage here so one point 0, 1, 5 times a to the n. Okay, now we want to get rid of the recursive solution here. So just like the last time, you're going to divide. So divide by lowest power. Again, you can picture this as r, r squared is equal to 1.015 to the power of r and divide by r you're going to have r is equal to 1.015 and that's our root now we're going to plug it into a to the n is equal to a times r to the power of n and that will give you um oh yeah we know that a to the 0 is equal to 100 so 100 is equal to a times 1.015 to the power of 0 Remember that r is equal to 1.015. Alright, so when we do this, we're going to get that 100. So a is equal to 100. Since this is equal to 1. Alright, so, so far so good. We have a to the n is equal to 100 times 1.015 to the power of n. But now the question is, how many months do you have to wait to uh, double your money? So you want to get $200 since originally you had $100. Alright, so what we're going to do is solve for n. And we had originally that we're looking for 200 as our a to the n. That will be equal to 100 times 1.015 to the power of n. Now we're going to solve for n. So first thing you want to do is get rid of everything and multiply to it. So 200 divided by 100, and that will give you 2. That will be equal to 1.015 to the power of n. And now you're gonna, you want to get rid of the power. So you multiply everything by ln. So ln 2 is equal to n times ln 1.015, and the power drops whenever you multiply by ln. Then ln of 2 divided by log of 
1.015 is equal to n and that is equal to 46.5555 and so on but remember that we're dealing with months here you cannot get an, int um, an interest in the middle of the month so whatever you get you have to round it up unless it's a whole number so that will give you that n is equal to 47 months so you will need 47 months to double your money alright I hope this video made some sense um, don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video